Hello, and welcome to Viewpoint. I'm Ian Beaumont. Thank you for joining me here today. The date is September the 11th, 2009, and I bring you an extra special commentary on this anniversary that has come round once again. hardly seems like a year ago when I last wrote a commentary on 9-11. So much has changed in that year in the world around Ground Zero. A new president, Barack Obama. A new Congress run by the Democrats. Seemingly America has a new attitude. And yet in Ground Zero itself Time seems to have stood still almost. There is still no memorial to the victims of that day. And it seems that that hole in the ground in the centre of Manhattan represents a hole that has yet to be filled in humanity's collective psyche. Bin Laden is still free. The justice that needs to be done remains undone. And especially the justice that we must do to those who tortured and held so many so-called enemy combatants in the name of the United States of America and in the memory of 9-11. I can remember that day so vividly. I was watching CNBC when they broke into Squawk Box and showed one of the World Trade Center towers on fire. It was about 8.47 Eastern Time. It felt like another breaking news story like so many I've seen over the years from the Falklands War through the Brighton Bomb, the Zeebrugge Ferry Tragedy, the First Gulf War, the Oklahoma City Bombing, the death of Diana, Princess of Wales. The list of stories I've seen break on TV and in front of me is endless. This was just another one until just after 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Then I watched a plane fly directly into the other tower. The shock that reverberated around the world at that time was truly palpable. You could hear it in the anchors' voices. You could feel it in the air around you. You had seen terrorism at work, and you had seen it live. Not some video recording that time had dulled the effect of. No. This was live in your living rooms, and in mine too. Days like that are living history. At that moment, I understood what the people who lived through World War I and World War II must have felt. Today, it was raining at Ground Zero. The gods and goddesses shedding tears at the lives cut short by man's inhumanity to man. There will be many more memorials like these today, in the years to come. And for me, I mourn something else that died in the wake of 9-11. The Republican Party. It has become a soulless creature. 
willing to do anything, say anything, in order to scare the people into following them. Down that road lies extremism. Down that road lies extinction. To have such extremist policies from a party that considers itself to be part of the mainstream of politics is, to borrow the words of Joseph McCarthy, quote, giving comfort, unquote, to those who believe not in the ballot, but the bullet and the bomb. And that's Viewpoint. I'm Ian Beaumont. Thank you for watching. Stay sharp. Stay tuned. Goodbye for now.